<laughs> Dance by fire. <laughs> you rats deserve this. <laughs> oh, I'm sick. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Undermine. The game is officially released today, but as they're explaining in this quick little disclaimer here, it is early access. They are still working on improving the game, trying to update it, content, bug fixes, player feedback, all that good stuff. I did an alpha of the game, covered an alpha of the game about six months back, like at the very end of last year. Did a series of videos on that, had a ton of fun with it. I think this game is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. I was fully planning to like do a refresher of the game before I dove into it, but because it's going out of alpha to like this full release now, my old save is, it apparently still exists, but I think at this point I would have uh, like, so much has been updated and everything that it just makes sense for me to cut that, restart. There's like 60-some achievements to be earned now. So rather than wasting any time practicing and anything like that on, on my own, off-camera, I'll just presume that I more or less remember what was going on. Get in here immediately. We've, we've had this chat before, so I'll try and go quick. Peasant, I have an important task for you. If you haven't noticed, if you have noticed, either way, it doesn't matter. The mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. And there's another thing. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him, the forge lay dormant. If we are to delve deep into the undermine, we will need someone to forge new equipment. Weird that they call it the Undermine, and they call it that with one word, like no hyphen or anything. Weird naming convention. Find the blacksmith and the source of the tremors. Now off with you, peasant. Take this key and unlock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. Wait, peasant. Take that journal on the table. I, I, I suppose I'll make sure to have this along with me as well. Artifact, journal, it's just a quick way to like track your achievements and what you've done and everything. Keep the journal with you, refer to it if you ever need an answer to a question. Just a quick look at the very basic gear that it starts you with. You can upgrade this once you have the blacksmith, you can spend like thorium to do that. Gold, you will lose some of it the same way you would in like Rogue Legacy, but you can improve the amount that is brought back with you upon revival. There's all these artifacts you can dis discover along the way. The bestiary was not working before or wasn't in the game yet. Now it's fully available. The item catalog is all available and everything. All of this has been all fleshed out and completed. It wasn't all ready to go before. There's just like a lot that has been added and changed, so it made sense to just restart, clean slate, and then I, we can just experience everything as it was meant to be right from, right from the start back through again. I barely made that jump, I should be more cautious. You can chop at things, but you can also chuck your pick at them as well. Well, I'm not using the shift, I'm, I'm using a, a mouse, but it still works. Dropping bombs, but they keep on forgetting the whole crowd. It goes so loud. <laughs> I feel like uh, I'm I'm singing Eight Mile all of a sudden. That was poorly done. I was trying to ride right, right on the edge, so I could try and get a nice shot off there. Well done, me. Ah, another weird thing. If anyone watched the alpha videos of this, I in that time I have just started using face cam more commonly than I, than I used to. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of these guys before they steal the gold. As soon as you, you uncover all this gold, these guys just kind of go for it. They don't even really attack you, you don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. Not with the gold thieving kind, at least. There are other kinds that will be jerks in other ways. We just boot them out of there. Don't need them, don't want them. The float boots, walk on air. Walking out onto the abyss can be fairly disconcerting at first. It's fairly disconcerting the hundredth time, too. Can I not fall into those abysses anymore? Would have been useful like one room ago. Good luck, peasant. That's the extent of the tutorial. You're just kind of thrown into it beyond this. Now the, now the signs are primarily just to tell me 
what my progression has been so far rather than any any lessons to be taught along the way. See, there's bomb carrying ones as well. If you attack him, he should like drop his bomb and go flying. I don't think it's the type of bomb you can pick up though. It would like explode and kill me. So something to be cautious of certainly. Even when you've cleared a room, these damn things still come and try to steal your gold. One, one got away with a little bit. Those bastards. One thing is that there are occasionally secret rooms that you can access through the, the gaping holes in the ground. And so now that's something I'm going to want to keep uh, a close eye on. I have to test it the next time I'm, I'm in a room with... Oh, I, I just put out the torch. That's pretty cool. Now the now the room is like visibly darker. That's very neat, neat little extra detail. The next time I'm in a room with one of those abysses, I have to try and see if I can actually walk out across it or not. You can see the repeated earthquakes like the old man was wigging out about. Because there's secret rooms in those abysses sometimes. So if I can't fall in them, I won't be able to access the secret rooms. The Ursine Ring, Increase Health. The bear is a symbol of power, strength, and overall badassery. Toad Vine Guard Captain. I'm trying. I'm curious how much. 40, 40 extra health, which is pretty significant. This this game can kind of just come out of nowhere at you, and you'll just be cruising along fine, and then you'll be a room in a room with a new enemy type you haven't seen before, or or squaring off against a boss or something, and it will just mess you up. I'm trying to be a little too daring, perhaps, there. The stake, I don't recall how much health it recovers. I'm going to stick it up here so it simultaneously bombs the wall in case there's a secret path. Usually, it's these things that would reveal secret pathways. And, like, uh, these ones look quite plain. There's nothing immediately that makes me think there would be anything to investigate behind that one specifically. Occasionally you'll see ones that are like cracked and stuff and it's more likely that there's a passage But ones like this that are just simple boards like that can still Grant certain things. I don't even know if those mushrooms do damage. I think they just kind of slow you down Ah oh, sweet we can blast our way past here now But at the very least those walls will always have like maybe not always But will often have gold or a key or things like that behind them Sick, I can totally buy the pickaxe upgrade. I don't know if it's permanent or not. I'm gonna buy it, we'll find out, I guess. Let me take a quick look. Swing damage is up. So it, it's telling me here that it has like a one, it, it's been enhanced to some extent, but there's nothing indicating that that's permanent. I believe this is our blacksmith, Wayland. Oh, hey there, friend, my name is Wayland and, I, Wayland and I'm the blacksmith was just down here picking some mushrooms when one of those quakes caved the entrance in. It's cool. I got a prescription from the apothecary for these. Really appreciate you blasting me out of here. Drop by my forge if you find yourself up top. I'll kit you out in the best gear. Saying you kit me out sounds like you're, like, pimping out. Like, uh, Exhibit is about to pimp out a uh, Civic and turn it into a Lamborghini or something, you know, give it the body kit. I can also craft any blueprints you find laying around. You may even find one in the chest over there, free of charge. See you soon, pal. Well, it's good meeting you. <laughs> you don't want company heading on out of here? First achievement, returned to his forge for recovering the blacksmith. Wayland's boots crafted at the blacksmith. You have to spend thorium usually to build that sort of stuff. I am not seeing it here at all. I, I guess boots isn't a thing. That I, I, By crafting it, I think you would make it available to be found down below is what's going on there. Wow, there is a ridiculous amount of items, way more so than I thought. So, like, this is something I can already find down here. This I can't find yet until until I craft it. Quickly bust everything up and, and search for a few little extras. Ooh, yeah, there's oil if you ever have oil and then get like a fire dealing damage weapon, then you'll be able to have those sort of combinations and everything. A lot of that was added around the time I was playing the alpha, but not all of it was like quite in place yet. Oh, we got a discount on a steak. Seasoned popcorn. Food will sometimes duplicate itself. That's really expensive considering what it actually gives you. I think 
I'll buy a bomb. There's like at least somewhat of a chance that the bomb will be useful. I don't really need that other stuff right now. There is a room that I totally ignored at the beginning here, so I might as well give that a quick, quick scope. Oh, I forgot that those things can shoot, like, projectiles at me. The only one I had seen in all this time was from that, uh, little tutorial thing. Found nothing. Damn, I was gonna bust him up and see if he had a key. Turns out you don't need a key for these chests. At least not at this dungeon depth. That might change a little later on, but yeah, that was probably worth the extra little bit of exploration. I'm gonna kind of pop around and see if there's something that seems like it would be worth bombing to investigate a little further. Like this, I'm pretty sure cannot have a secret room behind it because there's already a door here. I might be wrong about that. I might have proved that wrong experimenting previously. Ah, uh, there you go. So you know it won't always drop anything. I only have the one bomb remaining, so I'm not going to risk spending it on that, even though that one is probably more likely to have some sort of secret access or anything like that. I'd rather hang on to the bombs and save them for, like, guaranteed sections, segments where I will absolutely find something on the other side, like, uh, like what the blacksmith was hiding behind, things like that. Got a little exclamation mark in this room, curious what's going on. I need a special key, Dodson. Don't bother, it's locked tight. I let that wizard bamboozle me into coming down here and look where it got me. If you help me out of here, I can help you out too. I have some useful skills being a bombsmith and all. Ah, uh, so we could save the blacksmith and the bombsmith in the same little run. Oh shit, okay, the rock pile mimic. Time for like our first boss, mini boss. I legit don't remember uh, what this guy qualifies as. All I know is that I do not want to mess with him, don't want to get too close. Jumping is going to be my best friend. Oh, nice. He dropped, he totally like dropped a stone pillar on himself there. That did 20 damage. That's more than I can ever seem to do to this guy. I should hope that he screws up like that more often. Oh, nice. Running him into the walls there, too, totally would, like, reveal if there was a secret passage there. In that, these two particular instances, there was not. Man, I wish I did more damage. I'm, I'm starting to get kind of showed up a little bit here. I gotta remember this guy's attack patterns and everything like that. Alright, I gotta stop trying to attack him when he's on the move like that. That's when he's really messing me up. Oh, I got one dropped on me, and then he rolled into me, like, seconds apart, so... Shit, poorly timed jump. I gotta be much more careful. You can't even hurt him when he's rolling, so it's not worth messing around with, I guess. I would try and drop a bomb on this guy, but I, like, never really know where he's gonna stop. Oh, okay. That went a really long way. But then I had to get too close repeatedly, took too much damage, poor time jumps. Uh, this is gonna be tough to pull off. I gotta be way more cautious than I'm being so far. Damn it! I hate when he's hugged up against the wall there and I can't quite get a shot off against him. Uh, this is stressing me out. Gotta pay super close attention to those shadows. Must get attacks off. Oh god, I thought he killed me. I thought that's why the screen kind of paused there. Not an ordinary rock was the achievement for that one. I don't think the uh, the pilfers come and show up and try and steal the gold way on that one. Oh, that's so lucky. That's so lucky. <laughs> I'm so close to dead. Prisoner key, I can go and let Dodson out. Blueprint discovered. Mediocre ring. You know, it's like so-so. Not, <laughs> not the best, not the worst. And Shadow's Fang. Whew. Alright, I'm gonna let this guy on out of here then. I wonder if the that thing was always gonna be found in the room next to Dodson. Oi, thanks for the help, friend. Very glad to be out of that cage. I met it up top. Don't trust that wizard, but got nowhere else to go. Make sure to pay me a visit. I can upgrade those firecrackers you call bombs. He's uh, mimicked is the achievement for, for rescuing him. Wow, who, I don't know who's making the bombs I'm using now, but apparently they're like low grade. Dodson is not a fan. Didn't know it was possible to be a bomb snob, but here we are. I don't know if the rock mimic is, no, it's not what's causing the tremors. So if that's not it, 
then I believe I know what is, and uh, it wigs me out. For anyone who watched the old videos, you might kind of remember. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just remember that it sucks. And apparently, yeah, I can just walk straight out on top of this. I guess I got to keep uh, an extra, extra close eye out for, for hidden rooms. When you first walk in, a section sparkles? No, I'm crazy. I'm thinking of Moonlighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in this case then I think it's nothing but the benefit- oh god, spinning death blade. Don't want to mess with that. Every everything come over to me away from the death blade so I don't have to get too close. I don't- do not want to die. That- the- they- they seem dangerous. They seem like beyond what I'm comfortable messing with at the moment gonna go dig up my little bit of gold here hopefully it doesn't land where the death blades are I wish that the blades just went away as soon as you clear the room nothing so kind as that you can you can always kill yourself on them just to just to keep you humble you know just so you're not never feeling too cocky about anything no oh, yeah no matter no matter how far this run goes it's pretty well guaranteed I'm gonna end at that next boss if I somehow, somehow make it down to there. Key ring, that's worth two keys. That one still doesn't actually cost anything, which is nice. Give that back, you thief! There we go, managed to stop them all. I can't remember, looking at the, uh, the bottom left here, I can't remember what that little symbol is for. Right, it's the shop. That's simple enough, I should have remembered that. Uh, fish, which heals you a bunch. Shop in a bottle, discover the secret shop, miniature wizards miniaturized a shop and put it in a regular sized bottle. That sounds really silly. I'm not gonna bother with it at the moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to my gold as much as possible, I think. When you die, you only get to take some of it with you. It's like a percentage thing, so I might as well not risk losing much. The axe thrower is peasant pendant, which is awesome because I love throwing axes in this game. Deal more throw damage at low health. Ah, oh, that's perfect for Hidarki. That's <laughs> that's exactly how I've been playing anyways. Take lots of damage, throw often. Simple metal choker inscribed with the crest of the hill troll tribe. Man, I wish I would have had that for the rock golem because I was chucking things at that guy non-stop. 13 bonus damage is pretty good. I'm gonna edge myself on the side here. I guess I don't have to be that cautious since I have the no falling into holes boots or ring or whatever it is. Something that does that. I have enough bombs that I want to blow up a few little extra secret things. Found a key in that one. Nothing that special. One last chance. It's weird that he drops the bomb in front of him rather than where he is exactly standing. I mean, it makes more sense than pooping it out directly where you're standing. But the video game logic in my mind was saying that it would drop precisely where I was. Gotta grab this gold from in the wall, keep an eye out for that. This guy's wearing like a helmet. Does that count for anything? Down to key, which is nice. I'm gonna blast him up real good. I honestly don't know if re-breaking him and re-re-breaking him like that uh, means that you'll actually find anything extra, but hey, he was just sitting there asking for it, taunting me with that helmet, daring me to test how how strong and resilient it actually was. Yo, what's up, guys? What you doing down here? The Bath Cat. What? I thought this character was called Black Cat or something. That might be a different character in this game. Sir, uh, I'm I'm gonna have to ask you to turn around. The dungeon is off limits. And what do you have to say, Toad Vine? Oh, we totally found a, a note written by him. Or like one of these, the the descriptor for it was was from his perspective. Oh shit, 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 shit. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to talk to him. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, I honestly don't know if I would remotely, I don't know if I you could ever kill these guys. Uh, regardless of how dead I am or anything like that. Oh god, and she's healing him too. Alright, I'm gonna cause a big mess of oil. I was hoping the fire would light and it would do a bunch of damage or anything. Sir, please stop. I don't want this to be happening. That was totally my bad. <laughs> I think you lose half of the gold. Shit, I did not mean to attack. That sucks to have ended my run like that. 
you keep half the gold, you keep all of your thorium, which is nice. This is uh, everything I managed to take out. I have a little gif at the end here of showing them spanking my dead body around. Head back up to the beginning. Peasant, I have something for you. Oh, and we get to see the blacksmith uh, run his way out. You see now that we're Pete Kerr, which doesn't even make any sense at all. But we're, we're playing as a different character. I guess these are guys I still have to rescue. I think Dodson and Waylon were the only two you could rescue in the actual alpha. Now there's like the potion master and like the food, the chef. I honestly don't know what's going on there. Are you happy with me? Peasant, you've returned. Oh, someone new. Very well. Peasant, I've gathered some special items that may help you in the undermine. Feel free to use the gold you mine to pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna offer them up freely. You gotta pay for them. Feel free to use the gold. Weaselly wording there, Arcanos. Do not fret though. Your canary will ensure that they are passed on in case you meet your end. Oh, like a canary in a coal mine having a canary in the undermine. That's very funny. The spectacles. Peep the names and health of your enemies. Typically un unaffordable to peasants, but the mine's health plan partially covers the cost. <laughs> And the gecko's foot, pick up gold at a distance. I can't quite afford that. I'm way off from the salt shaker. Increase the effectiveness of food. That's that's a neat one. I am going to take the glasses, though. It's the only thing I can afford. And I should be able to put a little bit of this money towards some of the blacksmith's biz. I could upgrade the bomb. We'll see how much money I have left after this. I would rather invest in, like, health and damage first. Oh, hey, it's my bud. You a bit taller now? I mean, you're definitely not as colorful. Anyways, thanks for giving me a hand out of that cave. I've cleaned up the forge and have some new wares on display. I think the lighting in the forge is way cooler now than it was before. Check them out. All the finest quality, I promise. If you buy something, I'll supply it to you and all your buds. You know, in case you... Well, you know. Also, I can craft relics. If you come across any blueprints in the mines, bring them my way. So you'll spend the thorium and you get it immediately, like whatever thing you invest in him crafting, he'll hand you one of them and then you have the possibility of finding it in the dungeon in the subsequent, subsequent runs, but you get it as a freebie the one time. So the tempered pickaxe increases swing damage, tempered metal really cuts down on vibration when bashing rats. I like bashing rats. I'll upgrade. A tunic upgrade increases maximum health. Some tired cloth scraps barely held together with failing string. Very breathable. Oh, I can't quite get the patchwork sack, which would you lose less gold on death. So I, I guess I'm going to go with the breezy rags. And I can still afford the gloves, which I think is throw damage. Ranged, uh, range damage, yeah. Just enough cloth to prevent major blisters, but not minor. Hand covers. I think you can break all these barrels and everything, but, you know, there's, like, never gold or anything in them. This guy keeps a nice, clean barrel. Uh, talk. What do you want to talk about? Relics are powerful items, bizarro, there's mystical, all that stuff. All right, craft, then it is. My options currently are Wayland's boots. I could do Shadow's Fang. I could afford them, actually. Higher chance to critical strike. A brindled and dark beast. Perfect camouflage for stalking your nightmares. And the mediocre ring. Increase health and damage. This ring could never decide what it wanted to be. So now it's just okay at a couple of things. Break spikes take names. Steel toad and steel sold. Not to be confused with toad vine. The steel sold steel toad. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a bit of a bastard. Yeah, that's the guy who killed us. I like how take names, it's like kick ass and take names or whatever. The, the take names is not an effect that it actually has, it's, but it's part of the description. I am going to take the mediocre ring. I'm going to take the, the minor health and damage boost that come along with it. There's an achievement for, for crafting my first thing. Swing and throw damage increased and an extra 20 health. So I got a little bit on a little bit more on my side. I have not enough gold to spend. There's nowhere you can like stash it up top or anything. So what I have left over is coming down with me. And if I were to die right now, 
I would only get to take like 22 of that back with me. So it's, you, you basically just got to spend it while you have it. These are too strong for my current bombs. I, I actually would not be able to blast my way through that. So that's that's one potential reason to, to want to upgrade bombs. Wow, hitting that uh, electrical thing was pretty neat. That guy just happened to move in the way of that. I was not aiming there. That was really good luck. You can see now in the bottom right, I, I, it also shows me the um, the name and health of the enemies, which is super useful. And that, that's from those spectacles that I invested in. Oh, don't you dare. Get back here, bomb guy. Damn it. He totally got away with them. And why am I, why am I electrical? Oh, it, it electro rock. It, it's like a buff. It has a timer on it. I was wondering why the hell that was happening. I thought it was only immediately when I first made contact with it. It's like a, a recurring thing. Oh shit, what, where did that arrow trap come from? Oh god, that's so awesome. I love using that. Oh, it's the, those like panels on the ground there that I was stepping on. This here, if I run past it, oh, it came from a different direction. Wasn't worth showing off, I guess. Could have pointed it out without stepping on it. Oh yeah, you can totally see them mounted on the walls around the room there. Something I could have been more cautious about. That That's where uh, knowing how much health they have left is going to come in handy, is the types of enemies that you, like, kind of operate on a hit-and-run cycle, that you're constantly trying to just, like, flee from them when they advance on you like that. Make good use of that. Black Rabbit! This is what I was thinking of when- Oh, no, 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 they're stealing all my gold while I'm in this conversation. Hey, what is this? A shakedown? Oh, now look, pilfers out of every nook and cranny. Seriously. Oh, I guess it was her gold. <laughs> I'm still gonna take it though, what's left to be taken. Ooh, I could take a quick peep at that. I'll, I'll talk with her. We did meet her in the alpha, but it never really, I don't remember it ever really paying off. I got her confused with that wizard character who was guarding that entrance down below. Oh, is this a friend is the achievement. Oh boy, look at you. Do you have a license for that mustache? I'm Black Rabbit, the adorable mother of critters, queen of the tavern, and destroyer of hot cross buns. Heads up though, bristly one. Someone took out a rock pile mimic around here, and ever since... Oh, thank goodness, do I not have to refight that thing on every run? I guess then the game would have to output you that much gold, thorium, and blueprints, or like lesser amounts every time, and it probably doesn't want you repeatedly farming a boss like that. Well, bad things have been making their way up from the depths, which is why you need this. What do you say? Blueprints don't normally come this cheap. For you, my friend, the family discount. Thank you, is what I meant to say. A catalyst. Ha! The doofus bought it! A useless scrap of paper. I'll make a fortune off these suckers. Ah, uh, I said the quiet part loud again. <laughs> it's very Homer Simpson-esque. What I meant to say is thank you for your patronage. I hope to do business with you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too. It genuinely was a pleasure, even if you won't admit it. I enjoyed myself. Get rich or die trying. What more little nuggets of knowledge can we glean from this? Uh, maybe, maybe it's the same every single time. I was hoping it would have like a bit more. I'm going to try and blast my way up through here. Damn it. Apparently that one's not even the type you can destroy anyways. So, I was never going to find anything behind that. Lesson learned. I'm still only on the first level, I kind of totally forgot that. Meal ticket, free food at the shop, right now. Eligible due to indiscernible scribbles. Eligible? Ineligible? <laughs> Has a crew drawing of a sandwich. I guess... It, like, should have an expiry date, but they wrote it out so poorly, or like a one per customer, but they did such a bad job writing it up that I'm, I'm gonna take full advantage. Fuck. <laughs> That's so stupid. I gotta, I gotta finish this guy off quickly, too, so I can go fight the rat nest. I assumed it would just be called Rat Nest. I didn't know that. I knew that's what it was. It turns out it's both what it is, what it looks like, and what it's called. There's uh, some consistency there for sure. I guess I should have uh, trusted less in my throw damage. I do not know at all what's going on here. Makes me wish I had the thing that lets you just break spikes by stepping on them. Oh shit, I couldn't jump across that. What is it doing? What's happening? Oh, I'm cursed. And I get wealth, a blessing, 
increase gold income, the prospector has always understood the true value of the earth. So the oil means you can't jump across. It's really funny watching him do that really poor attempt. And, and? Oh, it was like a bomb bag. But major imbalance, deal less throw damage. Damn it. Uh, not, not the menu I wanted, although the way it came in the screen was very cool there. Relics, potions, blessings. So this is the, the first blessing I found here was wealth, but also the first curse. So I haven't found any of those yet, so I don't know precisely what they do. Every wobbly step, every flinch of the arm worms its way into the brain and feeds a lack of confidence. I guess I don't get to know precisely how much damage loss that is. But I, I can experiment with it a, a little bit, maybe, and when I come toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, a relatively weak enemy, I, I don't want to use it against some boss or something. Be mindful of the damn arrow traps, pressure plates around the room that I repeatedly walk into. Right, that's the thing I don't have a strong enough bomb for. It's like a specific upgrade you can buy. It might be that one that uh, Dodson was charging. <laughs> poor, poor jumping. It might be the one that Dodson was charging like 2500 for, or some exorbitant, ridiculous ripoff like that. So not something I'm going to be able to afford immediately. I don't know if an access point like that is going to be available on every individual run. Because that would be kind of a neat thing, like, uh, oh, get back here. Yeah, yeah, managed to bash him good. Doesn't matter how little damage I do. Oh, first, first mean rat, rat matron. I call him Big Rat Bastard. Bah! Bah! You can't land on top of a rock. When you do, the game just kind of like pushes you off of it, so I didn't really know what was going on there. Oh no! Oh no, I'm letting this rat nest get way out of hand. Okay, blast your way through, man. Pete Kerr, dumbest name of all time. Wow, okay, so it's not just that it makes it weaker, it makes it straight up useless. So glad I invested in, in range damage improvements. No, the only the only direct one I had was that I, I, I bought that glove. So that's not so bad. I can live with that. I have a key. So I'm gonna go for it. Oh shit. I was hoping I could do that well enough to not have to take so much damage. Didn't expect it to be full of thorium. That's like crazy valuable actually. Blueprint discovered crippling poison. Doesn't sound so good. I'm gonna chuck myself off the cliff in the hopes that I respawn right there. Uh, I might have taken the same amount of damage. I might have taken more damage by doing that. I'm actually not clear on whether or not that was a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna drop a bomb and try and run the hell out of there as quick as I can. Uh, another bomb dropped. Is this, is this glow telling me that there's like gold in this wall here? Oh no, that might be how I know that there's like a secret passage there. Which would be just so swell to finally actually have a way of knowing. I totally still have bombs left too, so I'm giving it a try. That's what I'm keeping an eye out for with secret passages. It's not any of the stuff that I thought it was. I guess, I guess it's good to know that there's a consistent, reliable way to check for that though, rather than simply blowing up every individual wall, which now and again they still drop useful things, but there, confirmation. Demolitionist is my the achievement there, I guess using a certain number of bombs. Nitroglycerin, drop bombs continuously. Ultra miniaturization and rapid enlargement are two critical fields of study in alchemy. They are both taught at the Arcane Sanctum. So whenever I decide to drop that, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it right here. Mm, maybe that was a mistake. Oh, you gotta hold. You gotta hold to actually use it. Which is kind of a good thing to know. I don't know how long it's going to do its thing for. Alright, I can see it, it, it has the little countdown at the bottom there. It would be so great if one of these bombs would land in front of this. That's That was a bit of a rip. Well, I just figured if I tried to use it in a room against actual enemies, odds were that I was going to cause myself great bodily harm. Probably just end up turning all that against myself, so I figured it was best to use it then. Nice! That doesn't even cost a key to, to open. I thought I thought that would be the trade-off a little bit, is that 
you might not be able to access a specific secret room later on or whatever when you come across it, like a bonus optional room. Ooh, didn't see that pressure plate. Glad that there was something in the way to stop me. Very useful for me when I'm so careless. Yeah, scare all those bats away. Yeah, totally lost my train of thought. I, I Yeah, I thought the trade-off was that you would have to spend the key to open the chest, meaning that you wouldn't get to use it somewhere else, essentially. But no, it was just a freebie. I guess I had to use a bomb to get to it, but it's nothing, basically. There are some really cool possible interactions here, like that gloop was filled with oil, or gloop, gloop, whatever, whatever it's called, and then there's explosive things sometimes, or fire dealing, causing things. I'm distracted by the big mean rat. Uh, like these barrels here, that if I blow them up, will contain fire. I'm trying to keep my distance because I don't necessarily want to light it up just yet until I know I can safely navigate my way around it. Yeah, the, you can also like, there's also water ones that exist, like uh, that create water on the ground and then, then you find, oh it cooked it! That's awesome! Achievement unlocked tastes better this way! That's so sick! That's like the coolest thing. Didn't know that was gonna happen. Didn't even see that there was a steak there, honestly. But yeah, you can find one of those electrical rocks and then that'll interact with like water in that way. If you spilled water on this, it would like put it out. There's all sorts of cool interactions like that. They're just so awesome. Should be a, a free item room. Leftovers, find old gross food in chests. Gross. Fa food in a chest is downright normal compared to storing a turkey in the wall. Quick little jab at Castlevania there from the dungeon chef, who presumably I'll unlock eventually, who I'll, I'll find. It looked like that was like a chef's table that I was finding up above before. Nice. Wish I could have cooked that one as well, but I, I kind of desperately needed some health improvements. Oh, I totally have the meal ticket. I, I'll get free food from the shop, so yeah, I should definitely make sure I don't skip out on the shop. That'll be well worth it. And look at this. Oh, this is the free food. Nice, free food. <laughs> thanks for thanks for filling me in. I thought any and all food it possibly had for sale would be free. Cooks all your food, the pocket grill, a cooking grill miniaturized by a wizard that enjoyed backpacking in the enchantments. Ooh, I've never been to the enchantments. Sounds lovely. Uh I guess I, I, I'm not going to spend my money on that. I'm not going to spend my money on any of that. You know, you lose half of it. It's not a great idea to unload on frivolous things. There's an extra room down here I might as well explore. Try and load up on as much as I can. Yo, dude, what up, Skull Kid? Oh, this is the guy who wants mushrooms. I have to find different mushrooms, I think. Bell Train. Oh, hello, human servant. Perhaps you can help me. Baba has sent me below in search of three particular mushrooms. They are nothing like these pathetic, ordinary mushrooms. They are unique, with special qualities. I'm not allowed to return until I find them. Baba has no sympathy for my condition. If you happen upon these mushrooms, will you bring them to me so that I can leave this dank and dreary cavern? Aw oh, man, but it's dank down here. You don't want to stick around? See what other sick shit might be going on. I'll keep an eye out. I don't think I need to find them all in one run, but I might need to find them and him. Like, if I find one of them, then I have to also find him in that run to, like, hand it off to him. I think? It's like a task I never truly completed previously, so this would- if, if, if I managed to find it and pull that off, it would be my first time actually doing so, so I, I can't so I, I can't really comment on that ahead of time using my my vast knowledge of having previously played the game. <laughs> it's not that I've deduced any any special anythings. This is where I had found the rock mimic before. Maybe that was on level two. It did seem to happen very quickly. Oh, but I really just hadn't explored much. Oh god, oh, I hate these things. Kill it, kill it. What's it called? The Lurker. Oh, that's funny because it attacks exactly like a StarCraft Lurker. So that should be easy for me to remember. Glad he broke that rock for me. Oh, right, these big guys. I'm so happy to finally know what to call everything. A Bobo. 
I, I, I did not know what to call them. That's so sick. I'm so glad he he's like uncovering all this stuff for me. Don't know how he hurt himself there. Oh, he must have been standing on spikes or something. Oh god. Okay. This thing is terrifying me. I just want him to keep running into to walls and stuff so I don't have to worry about it. I would just make him run into walls and then run at him, or like chuck things at him, but I still have that curse. I don't think it's actually ever going to go away. I have to investigate what the hell this potion actually is, because I kind of had to skip over it. Temporarily increases attack speed. Some say that the origins of this potion lead back to a goblin alchemist, that the recipe was stolen by the human kingdoms of Delve more, because they like to delve more into the dungeons. I get it. I, I saw that this room had a few different key access points in the little mini-map at the bottom there, so I figured I would come investigate it next. Man, I don't want to get too near that thing. Its range is better than I would like. Son of a bitch. Oh, right, you can't jump on oil. Okay, kill it. Kill this stupid thing. Frig off. <laughs> it's really messing me up. Ooh. It's not going particularly well. Canary, I need you to go fetch that, please. Nice, well done. Okay, okay, no, it's too close, too close. Kill, 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 mo kill mode. We gotta find out what's behind these doors. I'll feel real let down if we don't get to explore, see what's going on back there, see what kind of hidden goodies are lying in wait. I specifically chose this area for the exploration potential. I don't want to be robbed of that. Oh, don't you even think about it, you big boners. Okay, just a shop. Ah, but I get free food at the shops always and forever. <laughs> so that's real good, because I was about to die. Not worth it. I mean, I'm, I'm not holding up too well, you know. I might as well just kind of play risky and accept the fact that I'll probably die soon. Ooh, this looks neat. Salamander tail. Chance on hit to ignite your enemies. God, that would be dangerous when you're fighting those oil guys. Separated from the legendary creature, Seer. The tail still writhes in agony. It's very, very cool seeming. I only have the one bomb, but I'm going to spend it just in case. Dang it. I guess those, that kind never breaks? Rarely? Probably should have saved that. Now there's going to be like a very obvious secret room that I would have rather spent it on. I, I'll just have to accept that. Accept the poorness of that choice. Nuts! Too many rats! Oh god, okay, I'm igniting some of them, which is very fun for me. And they're like causing, causing fiery rat deaths all over the place. Ah, 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 ah. Dance by fire. <laughs> you rats deserve this. <laughs> oh, I'm sick. I'm also so glad that that room dropped a bomb because got a little secret passage to go investigate, in which we have one purple flame. I am so curious what that's for, what that could mean, what's going on there. Don't you dare! I need all this! I'm gonna die right away! <laughs> I wanna take all of it back with me. What do you think the purple flame could mean? I don't have a bomb to use on it or anything? I'm so fascinated. I have questions. There's so much mystery laced throughout this game. Just the best rat bashing you've ever seen! This side of the the mine. I don't know any more of the geography of this world, so I don't really have uh, good reference points. Oh, I love that I can just start him on fire from a distance like that, even if I don't do much damage or, like, any damage. Aw, oh, come on. That was really fun for me. Light him up again. <laughs> the best. Well, that's a way down already. I think I'm gonna spend more time investigating, try and kind of clear out the floor first. Things are going risky as is, I might as well spend the time. Huh. That's the the blessing that I had found before, but I, I can only get at it with the better bombs. But this 
is totally worth the investigating because now oh the steak as well that's just a the steak is a cherry on top of the ice cream which is really gross I could say that this it's the steak under the mushrooms or the onions or something whatever people eat with steak trapped what the shit just happened oh god okay that was a bad that was a bad one that was a bad chest just spewed up bombs everywhere at me I think because it spewed up bombs and steaks I'm uh, I'm probably at the same health I was before I ate that steak. Oh, black rabbit. What you got going on in here, babe? <laughs> oh, my mustache boy. Boy with a mustache. In the house. In the house? Black rabbit's chest game house. What'd you say? Pay me 400 and you can open three chests? Oh, God. I would cons... I have such... I uh, no. Are you sure it's a pretty cool game? I almost want to do it like for the video, but I'm like about to die. Ah, let's do it for the video. This is a bad strategic move because whatever benefits I might get from this. I uh, wait, do oh shit, do I actually have to keep an eye on things? Alright, blueprint. That's like one good place to keep in mind. Oh, and what's his name? Highlighted that for me. The blueprint, oh, so it's impossible to actually know. I see. All right, buddy, get on in there. Well, I have no idea what I'm about to get, but I got the guaranteed blueprint, which is kind of nice. I basically just spent 400 on that. Just gonna open any old thing. Bonus health, keep me alive a little bit longer. More health plus holy water, remove a curse. That's sick. I'm immediately using that. Okay, I, I should have read the, um, the, like, description to go along with it, too, actually. Apothecaries often overcharge for holy water, knowing that they have the market cornered. Sick! Oh, it chucked it out and blew it up! The achievement for that was purified, so that was awesome. And I gained this, plus Sonic Boom throw really fast! I uh, used by champion pickaxe throwers. Throw speed! Hua! Hua! Oh, and that was, that thing was the, the throw speed decreaser. So that's gone. That's good now. I can read it on your face. The game lived up to and exceeded your expectations, didn't it? I really do know how to make a good game. I'll see you around, bristled one. Okay, I was going to say, like, shit, throw damage is, like, the lamest thing that that could have granted me. But I ditched the curse. So it is actually good again. So I'll come back around. Man, I found a buttload of thorium down here and chests and stuff. I feel like this has been a really good, really productive run. I'm bombless. Can't, can't investigate that, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, gold mine, level four. Shop, free food, please. Oh, look at that big old Garfield-sized ham. Dope and an Aegis increased defense at critical health. The Knight Toadvine defended his loyal companion against orders and was subsequently demoted to Guard Captain for his disobedience. Hmm, interesting bit of lore about that guy. Shows maybe why he's such a sourpuss. Oh, gross. Oh, I hate them. Oh, they all ran at me way more aggressively than I was expecting as well. Fuck these guys. Ah, shit, they can jump across things. What is with jumping spiders in, like, Isaac and roguelike games? Why is that a thing? It's awful. I hate them. I wasn't prepared for it, and I super got messed up by it to a level I am very not happy about. Hmm. Can I ride this edge? I can. I'm doing it to grab the gold. Nice work, Canary. Swoop in there and grab that for me, won't ya? Smash him up good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some quick throws, too. Ah... Uh, I was hoping it would be the tiniest bit faster, so I could kind of just like spam the hell out of it as they got closer. Although my melee attack is stronger still anyways, so I guess it doesn't really achieve a whole lot. But I can I can kind of run and gun a little bit, and I like I like that. <laughs> you sucker. I'm guessing that that thing blows up the same way that that other what should we call it that I found? The the rock was like a, a lightning rock. I kind of predicted that one was going to be a fire one. Mm, specialty bombs. Rook's bomb. Death at 90 degrees. Rook 
learned bomb smithing from his mother, but always had a special relationship with his father. I'm so uncertain what that is actually going to do. I have a, I, I'm concerned based on the pattern that it's going to blow up like in a Bomberman pattern, that it's going to have like a vertical and lateral depth to it, so I'm going to drop it and run the hell out of the way. Yup. <laughs> That's very deadly and very awesome. Peep the skeleton found a bomb. Kind of a one for one. Oh, and there's a chest back here too that I almost completely missed. God, these things even find their way into the little secret passages, trying to steal all my good, my good sweet goodies away. <laughs> ah, so many rats. Oh, I tumbled straight into the abyss there. That was poorly done. I don't know. Oh, this thing is hitting the rats. Yeah, screw them up, dude. It's on my side. This is my ally. Turning blade boy. Just we've we've been partners not in crime, in heroism, in in heroics <laughs> for for decades now. Spinny spinny blade boy. Bla ba blade babe blade boy. That's that's its own thing. That's totally separate. I I clearly already forgot his name. You can't tell if you haven't seen through the ruse. I made it up. I, he's just an idol of mine. I like to tell people that we know each other. Makes me feel like a big guy, like a, like a, I'm accomplished, a little more accomplished than I actually am. But I gotta stop lying. I gotta stop lying to the fans. Right. Note to self, don't attack these guys. I'm gonna have to ask you kindly to turn around. Dungeons is off limits. Toad Vine still just looking uh, intense as ever. I'm gonna bust up some of your guys' stuff over here. Ah, ooh. Can I actually unlock it? Locked from the other side. Ah, I guess I gotta make it lower into the dungeon to do that. Is that it then? Is there? I could have sworn there was more to this that I could explore before advancing forward. Yes! Yes, there's this that I didn't have the bomb for initially, but I can blast my way into now. Bonus! <laughs> Bonus room! Didn't realize that was there. Aw, oh, purple flame, I don't know what to do about you. I don't understand. I'm gonna chuck a bomb at it, because I don't know what to do otherwise. Aw, oh, shit, I'm cursed. Major brittleness, receive more damage. That's the worst thing I could have found. <laughs> Avoid falling into holes, a, a float potion. I'm gonna pick it up just so it gets added to my... Like, because right now, in uh, the, the key bomb, whatever the hell it was called there, I just want to see. Not added to my index until, until I pick it up. Impish key bomb, swap your items around. No, that's fine. I don't need that right now, but I'll pick it up just to register it. I'm not sure if it actually changes your items or if it just messes you up so bad you think it did. <laughs> Dirk the Alchemist. Which, I'm wondering if he's the potion guy that I'll eventually be saving. Shit. That, so now I know, blowing up those purple things curses you. That sucks. That was real not good overall. What was that thing saying about mushrooms? The mushroom grows in the darkness. That's totally something I'll need for Blam Blow. I don't remember what that dude's name was at all. <laughs> but I know that he loves mushrooms and needs them, and then Baba will let him free or whatever. So I, I now I know. Now I know. Maybe that means immediately just knock out all the lights. I don't know if that means in general or if that's like a hint for this specific room. Cool. That's awesome. Nightshade thrives in the darkness. That's one mushroom found. He said he needed three different ones. Where does that register? It doesn't register anywhere on like my relics or potions or blessings or curses or anything like that. So that makes me think, oh, I already have this one. Right. <laughs> I guess I could have found it a second time. It would have been I would have been curious to see if it could stack. But that makes me think that I won't lose the mushroom by dying. Which is good, because dying is a very real risk with my extra damage taking. God, I wish I didn't have that. Oh, oh, I want to try and mine that. Ah, uh, I guess I, I can probably ride the edge. Shit, 40 damage? 
That sucks. Sometimes I thought you could like ride those edges a little bit, so I was gonna... I don't know how you collect that gold then. That's a real bummer. Oh, good. Good. That uh, true source of the tremors I told you about. That I'm, I'm basically just I'm gonna die here now. This is not good for me. <laughs> I don't remember this thing's attack patterns. I don't remember the strategy. Celt, Lord of Sand. I'm chucking out some some shit here to try and help me. God, he's already creating little minions and things like that. Ah, ah. Okay, well, one more of those and I'm dead. I may have killed this guy in the alpha. I honestly don't recall if I did. I now I'm, I'm I'm seeing this again, and I'm thinking probably not, because Jesus Christ, uh, everything about him is insanely ridiculously powerful and difficult, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know what this means. Ah! Oh, that was lucky to escape that shit. Shit! He kind of pinned me. Should have dropped a bomb. I only had one bomb. It wouldn't have gone that far. Basically, I'm taking, like, no gold back with me, so that totally sucks. My canary, you see him float off with the, the gold there. Pretty, pretty sure that I get to keep the mushroom, though, which is good. I found a bunch of schematics. I have a bunch of thorium. The gold situation, not so good. This is what lets me blow up the gem rocks. Upgrade bombs to blow, blow up new kinds of rocks. I, the bomb is low on my priority to upgrade right now. Can't afford either of those. Not, not happening. I am going to upgrade how much gold I take back with me. The patchwork sack looks like it was cobbled together with whatever was lying around. Probably was. I don't know what this is actually. I didn't even look at it. Balance counterweight. Counterweight upgrade increases throw range. That's totally new. I don't think that was even in the alpha, so I kind of ignored it. Carefully crafted weight that maintains a weapon's balance while it is in flight. Cool. I wish I had that. Range would be really useful. Any of this is useful, actually. It's all, it's all kind of pretty great to have. The gold tooth. Sustain yourself on gold. I have had this before, previously. Uh, morbid trinket. Picked off a prospector who lived way beyond his years. I think you regain little minor amounts of gold as, or of health as you pick up gold. Crippling poison, chance on hit to poison your enemy, that's sweet. Rare poison collected in the bogs of more. The catalyst, increase the effectiveness of healing, that's really useful. Strange stone that radiates warmth and a sense of comfort. The other two I had previously. I'm not going to invest in any of them. I'm tiebring. I forgot to look at that before. Because I'm going to set things down here. I do not know if I'm going to be doing this as a series or a one-off. Regardless, I'm playing the game more. Regardless if I record it or if I do it on my own or whatever. Because I've absolutely, absolutely loved this game. I'm glad I was able to show the rock mimic and that second boss in, in one episode here. But per Odds are it's going to be a long time before I kill that... Son of a bitch down below there. Tough. Tough stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it remains to be seen how how excited you guys are about this video and this game. Of whether or not I record more of it. And if I do, then I'll spend that thorium. I'll get one of those relics and, and do a new run with it. Ooh, one more quick thing I found. When you knock on this, it's Baba the Alchemist. With four eyes, it looks like. Go away! The laboratory's closed. So probably once I find the three mushrooms, then then I'll be able to, uh, th then that guy will grant me access to the alchemist and I can invest in potions or whatever's going on there. No clue what's going on with like the chef's table. I, I look forward to hearing what you guys think. Link down below, you guys can go buy this for yourself. It came out today, so now's the time. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.